Yeah, this is uh, uh, I said John's best game of the season. What was uh, working for him, especially so early? Uh, the, the defense was working for all of us. Uh, that That's when we're at our best. And unfortunately, we ha it hasn't happened a lot. Um, but when we play that type of energy on the defensive end, mean, we can get out and transition. He's one of the best. And he's making shots, he's making attacks, he's passing the ball. It all starts with our defense. Our defense in that first quarter was really good. Even the second quarter was not as good, but pretty good. Scott, did you contribute to this has been the team's one of the best defensive and offensive sides of the season so far. To, to, yeah, tonight, yes. It's probably one of our best games of the year against a, a, a team that's hot, that's really good, that has a great player. And a lot of really talented players on the team, and they're, and they're, and they're deep. we got a lot of good guys off the bench. And it's just not uh, its not one guy. They, they play hard, and they play well, and they, they're fast. It's an aggressive uh, attacking team, one of the best in the league at uh, creating fast break points. And two guys that kick ahead better than probably most players in the league. Scott, when John is specifically when he's able to get to the hoop as often as he was in the half court, what does it mean for your guys' half court offense? Yeah, it, it's everything. You know, he's he's a he's a force. He draws so much attention, and he sees plays uh, that a lot of guys can't at his speed, and it puts the it puts the defense in a uh, a tough predicament that they have to make quick decisions and. And he can make quicker decisions than their decisions. So it's it's about you know we have good spacing, we make shots, and, and but it's about the, the defense in that first half really set the tone in this game. Decker was something of, a, of an X factor tonight. What would you uh, like an X factor? Yeah, I think Jeff and and Sam they did a great job of playing off of one another, and, and Sam's a, a great a great cutter. That's what I'm finding out. Uh, I don't I didn't really know. Everything about his game, I still don't. Um, I'm assuming that he's going to be able to shoot threes better than he did. Um, but he's got the ball. He cuts to the basket and he moves the ball. He plays hard, brings energy, plays with a, the proper uh, respect for the game. That's what I love about him. He's always uh, he's always seems to be prepared. He doesn't have he doesn't have to turn his switch on. It's on. Do you think that uh, a cutting ability has allowed him to develop this early chemistry with John? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Anytime, anytime you can cut and a cut, what a cut does, it really you really give yourself up to the team. Uh, eight to nine out of ten times, you're not going to get the ball, but you're going to draw in uh, your defender and maybe an extra defender with you. Now we can has lanes for attack, and that's that's an unselfish play that no stat sheet I've seen and I haven't seen any numbers of a of a cutter that leads to a uh, a bucket. But he's one of the best I've seen. You mentioned pregame, sort of the idea of this being kind of fun. Tonight. You mentioned pregame, the idea of this being kind of fun in the sense of your handed. How do you figure it out? What do you think about it? It's that? all, to me, to me as a player, it was always fun because if they were shorthanded. I mean, I got to play. <laughs> and, you know, tonight, tonight we're shorthanded. We had a couple of guys not here. Um, Otto's banged up. And we have opportunities to. You know, play extra minutes, and I thought the guys uh, did a great job. The energy was great. You know, I know John played probably more than he, he I would have liked him, but you know, he had 20 minutes in the first half, and probably a little, a few, uh, two or three minutes more than I would like to. But he's, you know, he can handle it. Scott, Jeff, Jeff Green, I know you've known him since he was really young, and you're playing him in different positions now. He's been far more efficient than he's been any other part in his career. Does that have anything to do with the fact that he's just a natural mismatch more often than he's been in the past when he's been playing more 3-4? Yeah, I mean, the, the league is changing, and we're actually we're changing as the league is changing ourselves. We're trying to figure out how we can generate uh, more success on both ends, and Jeff is the guy that I'm trying to, you know, piece it all together, and I can, I can move him around. He's been enough... He's been. He has enough experience, and he's had enough ups and downs in the league that he doesn't have. He doesn't get sensitive if I move him around or take him out and put him in different lineups because he's one of those guys I have to figure out what's best for the team, and he can handle that. And you know, some guys that are young that they don't know that that's part of being on the team. But he he's, he has that ability because he's been through a lot in his you know, 12, 13 year career. Scott, what about can you assess Sam Ransky's performance? Where he got the most wins? Yeah, you know what? He just he plays hard. You know, he plays hard. You look at it. He had seven shots, but he had five assists, and he's a, a plus sixteen. He just he just plays hard. You know, 
that's what I love about him. We have to have more guys, um, and it's, and I don't like to say this, we need more guys that play hard. And, you know, we're, we're trying to find, find that, and I know Thomas does play hard, and Sam plays hard. It's no secret that from an energy standpoint, you guys kind of go And somebody else is going to come in here that's going to play hard. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> I'm linking it. <laughs> you want to talk about that? It's no secret that from an energy standpoint, you guys kind of go as John goes. What's the key to getting that level of energy from him? Yeah, I mean, he's 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 obviously the key. Him and Brown are the key. They're one of the best players. They're all-star players, but they need to bring that energy every night. It, it it goes on them, and then our then our role players need to be stars in in their roles, and that's what makes good teams go. And you know we've been banged up, we're playing different lineups, but that's no excuse to, to play hard. You, that's your job. You have to do that. And hopefully, hopefully this type of game that can can get us to do that consistently. That what we we played pretty good at, at home. Give our guys credit. We lost the last game against Boston on two amazing shots that, you know, the night, the, the last night, I think it was, he didn't make those shots, um, but that's just the way it is. But we haven't figured out our road, and we have to be able to do that. We've struggled, and we have to be able to figure that out. Scott, did John ask to stay until he got to 40 points? <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't, but... Um, yeah, he did. But I, I'm, I've been around the league long enough. I know when when guys have 38 or 37 or 28 and 27 or in my case seven or eight, <laughs> trying to go for three. If I only had seven. How's uh, How's Keith? Do you think he'll have to get next? Um, no, he's he. I thought he, he could he could have gone, you know. But I just felt that you know if we had the game under control. Uh, there was a couple of moments I was thinking about putting them in. I just felt that, you know, when we were up 20 something points, just let him sit down and, and play some. Play Jeff. Jeff had good juice throughout the game, making shots. Appreciate 39, 11, and 11. Without He's getting a pretty good player. Without getting, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> sorry. Um, you made you alluded to someone who's going to be coming here soon. I know you can't talk about anything officially, but is there anything you can say generally about what's about to happen? No, I just think I mean we're always looking for you know we have to play we have to play better defense. We have to guard the ball. We have to rebound the ball. And we have to make threes. Scott, when you talk about uh, players being stars in their roles, um, with there been so much fluctuation with the uh, roster players coming and going, do you view this as a maybe a clean slate opportunity for you to establish uh, a, a distinction with players' individual roles and what they're supposed to do? Yeah, I mean, it's all, it's all, you know, it's moving parts right now. But I, I like the way things are moving at home. But like I said, we got to figure it out on the road. But you have, oh, on the road, you always have to be a star in your role. I mean, there's. There's moments that you don't like your role, but you still have to do it. You still have to sacrifice that for your team, you know. And I, I go back to Jan. Jan has not played and hasn't played consistent for a long time, but he's still locked in, still waiting, and still being there if I need him. And you know, definitely, I was thinking about using him tonight, but we didn't. We didn't need him because we had the big lead. But I like what he's done. He's ready. And he comes to work every day. And he's waiting for his call, and that's what you need. And we need more guys that are willing to play their role. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.